Hey guys, so today I'm here with a quick tutorial showing you how to clear up extra hard drive space on your Windows computer. Uh, so actually, if I'll go ahead and show you guys here, I noticed this morning that my hard drive is practically full right now. So I figured it'd be a good idea to clear it up, and while I'm doing it, make a video and show you guys some of the methods I like to do uh, when you know, you're getting full and you don't want to have to start deleting all your files. Uh, so there's, the first thing I'm going to be doing is disabling hibernation mode. Now hibernation mode is a sort of in-between between shutting it off and putting it to sleep that stores all the data on your RAM to the hard drive. Now this is nice. It will allow you to boot up a little bit faster if, say, you need to, you know, have your computer totally off, if you need to remove the battery or something like that. Um, but in my opinion, it's really not super necessary. Um, and of course, because of it, you know, it stores all your data from your RAM. Uh, typically, however, however much RAM you have on your computer is how much of a block on the hard drive it takes. So in my case, I have four gigabytes of RAM, and I'd love to have that four gigabytes back. So it's going to be really simple. Uh, so the first thing is, is go ahead and open up your search and type in CMD. Now once you find that, you should have cmd.exe, right click it and click run as administrator. We'll go ahead and click yes here. And then we'll, we'll pull up the command prompt. Now at this point you're going to need to put one thing in. Now of course we'll have it in the description. So what you need to do is type in power cfg, all one word, space dash h space off. So as you guys can see there, just type it in like that or of course I'll have it in the description. Click enter, give it a second, and we're good to go. Now all we need to do is close it down. And if we check our hard drive one more time, it will show now we have six gigs left as opposed to that three. So just that simply, we did disable hibernation mode. We can't use it anymore. Uh, but I think it's a fair trade for getting a couple of gigabytes back on our hard drive. The second method that I like to use to keep my computer nice and clean is to download CCleaner. Now CCleaner is a fantastic uh, application, I've made many videos on it before, that really keeps your computer nice and clean. Now if you'd like to download it, I will have a link in the description, it will take you to this page. Now I do want to mention one thing, you'll see this buy, and buy online and download, you can ignore that, that and it's only if you need priority support. If you scroll down here, there are going to be two links, click on either of these and it is entirely free. So just did want to clear this up, uh, this is a free program, there's an option to buy it but you don't have to do that whatsoever. So anyway, once you have the computer, the program rather, downloaded, you'll see it should look very similar to this. Now there are two ways to clutter off stuff from your hard drive. Now the first is to run the cleaner. Now what this does is it clears out extra junk on your hard drive. So for example, Internet Explorer has temporary internet files, etc, etc. Uh, you know, there, there's a huge thumbnail cache on Windows. You might have stuff in your recycle bin, temporary files. There's a lot of stuff that can just, you know, just extra junk files that can be sitting around on your computer. In addition, CCleaner also will clear up extra third-party applications. So if you have Firefox installed, there might be some junk on there you can clear off. Well, I do recommend, like for example, if Firefox is your main browser, don't have it clear your internet history if you don't want that. But uh, just go through here and delete what you want. Uh, of course, as you guys can see here, it does cover quite a few applications. And then when, once you're ready to see what it's going to do, you click Analyze, and it will take just a minute to go through. As you can see here, I run this quite often, so I only have 85 megabytes, but I want to do that, so we'll run Cleaner. It should delete it really quickly here. Um, and there you go, I removed 86 megabytes. That's not a big deal, but like I said, I run this quite often, so uh, more than likely than not, you'll have a lot more than that. Uh, now the last thing, and this is a little bit obvious, but I do want to show you guys, is just uninstall programs. Now you'd be surprised at how often you might have some old program that you don't need, or uh, for whatever reason, you know, that you didn't realize that you had, that another program uh, installed it. So for example, um, I've, like I said, I've, I've keep this pretty clean, but you guys might have something like perhaps you don't want QuickTime anymore, or maybe you download Safari once and you don't use it anymore. There's a lot of things that you can do, and using CCleaner, you can just pick out whatever you like, click run an uninstaller, and it should clear it up and save you a little bit more hard drive space. So anyway guys, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and helped you get a little bit of hard drive space back. Um, if you did enjoy, be sure to hit that subscribe button up above and you'll be notified with all of my new content.